Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. This is part two of our weird and wacky racer series. Last week, I hit you up with episode one. This is kind of like a mini series where we are going to be building a bunch of creations, bunch of vehicles, bunch of weird and wacky stuff. And then we're going to build a race course to race them all on. Then I'm going to be releasing this map to you guys to go and play with your friends, basically. That's the, that's the assumption of this little mini series right here. And oh my god! Last episode. I asked for suggestions on what to do next. You guys, you guys didn't fall short. You did not fall short. You guys were absolutely... I'm happy. I'm happy, all right? You guys left so many awesome suggestions. Thank you to everyone who commented, liked, watched that video, and enjoyed it, of course. I'm currently sitting in our first vehicle that we made, the Miola Mobile, which it's a, it's a bit of a piece of trash, not gonna lie, but that's all good because it's it's named after a piece of trash. So there were a lot of suggestions on that video, and I can't choose all of them, obviously, but I've decided to do one today. We are going to be trying to build, and I emphasis on the word trying, a goat cart. Yeah. We had a lot of suggestions, bikes, unicycles, a lot of June buggy suggestions, but a goat cart. A goat cart could be kind of cool. Not a goat cart. A go cart. You know those little, little zoomy things that you go driving around in? Get one of those. So I got a pretty good feeling about this. Got a really good feeling. I've actually went and searched through YouTube to find some suggestions on like building techniques and ideas on how we can build this thing. And I found one. It's uh, made by a guy, guy called Gaming Skill. And I think he's a French YouTuber. I'm pretty sure it's a French YouTuber because I couldn't understand a word he was saying. But he had this really cool technique that I really, really liked and it really, really, really looked really, really good. Check this out, right? We're gonna go and draw this. This is gonna be like the foundation of our vehicle. And you went and did something like this. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Miola, what the hell are you doing? And to be honest, I have no idea, but, <laughs> but I'm gonna try this anyway. He went and did something like that, okay? Yeah, kind of weird, I know. But something you don't really see often in this game is the bottom of these signs. Have a look at that, all right? Have a look at that, especially from the side. You can get some really, really cool looking stuff from the side here. So, this is gonna be basically the base of our go-kart. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Uh, trust me, trust me, it's gonna be really, really cool. All right, so we're gonna be using a lot of the blocks that we normally use in our builds, and that is, of course, our little triangular block, which we've already got down there. We're probably gonna grab a bunch of these as well, and I might leave it at that for now. So, here's what we're going to do, baby. We're going to rotate this to a point. We're gonna do the same over here. Yeah. And I just broke apart. All right, then we're then gonna go and sort of start roping off this little area. And this is basically gonna be where the center of our vehicle sort of is. So this here is gonna extend right down here, right down here. There we go, something like that. I think we'll go one more with these here. And then we're gonna go and throw some little triangles on the end of it. Fantastic, tie that all together and it's gonna bring it nice in, nice and tight. Next up is the most vital part of this entire build. Of course, our driver's seat. And that's gonna sit up here somewhere. Like that, I think. And then we're basically going to go and fence this little bit off here again as well. Like that. I might change this up as we go, but I kind of... Yeah, I got a kind of good feeling about the way we're going right now. So, sort of like the strength of this vehicle is it's going to sit really close to the ground. In fact, this little half a block here, which we don't really have half blocks in this game. That's kind of the weird part about these, like, sign things, the bottom of the signs. Um, basically, it's going to sit really low to the ground, which means it's not going to, hope, hopefully, touch wood, touch wood, it's not going to have too much lift off when the engine starts kicking in. So, uh, that's the plan anyway. Things don't necessarily always go according to plan. As most of you would know. So we're going to go and get some bearings. We've already got those. We're going to throw some little wheels on this fella here. So we're going to go uh, one of these. One of them. One of them. One of them, I think. Yeah. And as you can see, we've sort of got a bit of a low to the ground type of feel right now. Um, I would probably end up putting the, uh, the, the last two wheels up here somewhere. Um, I got a feeling we're going to go something like... This is just a rough little guide. Hmm... It'll be something like this, basically. Like, obviously not like that, because that looks terrible, but you know what I mean. It's gonna, it's gonna sit really low like that. It's gonna be really, really cool. So next up comes the second most vital part of this build. Of course, comes the engine. We're gonna throw this at the back. Something like that. That's kind of cool. And we might as well wire, 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 wire all this stuff up right now, because why the hell not? And you know what? Let's keep that off, because I have no idea how much, like, energy this thing's going to, like, need. I don't know how we're going to kick this thing off. Let's get rid of all of this, because that stuff was only temporary. 
Uh, let's go and get these blocks back. We don't need the energy. I don't know what I just took out of my crossbar thing, but whatever. All right, so next up in this build, we're going to be using some blocks that I also like to use in a lot of my builds. And that is, of course, our piping stuff right here. So we're going to go, and we're going to go branch out with, the, with, blah, 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 with these two here. <laughs> we're going to go straight down like that. We're then going to throw some bearings. Now, this is where the steering, the steering columns in our front little part of the build are going to come from. Ah, uh, that's the wrong way. Like that. And like that, but uh, it's basically not going to come out far enough because when we go and turn, it's just going to clip our vehicle. So we're going to go and throw two extra parts out here. We're going to throw our two little bearings right there. And then our two little wheels out here as well. Now, touch wood, all of this should sort of connect up nicely. Um, let's see if it actually turns the right way. It doesn't. Let's go and switch these real quick. Okay, so no collisions. Fantastic! That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Let's uh, let's go and give this thing a little bit of a test drive first up. So, we're going to need to power this. Oh, I guess this is going to be a bit of a testing to see how much it can actually take before it... Okay! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's staying close to the ground. It ain't lifting up. Let's just try and go on a straight line. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, the key strengths of this go-kart... Like most go-karts, as you know, nah, I'll take that back. It's going to be speed, okay? It's going to be a very fast vehicle. But I was going to say, like like normal go-karts, handling is terrible. But go-karts actually handle really well. So it probably won't be like a normal go-kart. But that'll be it's more of a weakness, I suppose. Because it's a very stable vehicle. It's a very fast vehicle. It's just uh, a, bit of a bit of a painful vehicle to, to control. So we can go like full strength on this thing. And it, uh, it moves. Well, I don't know why it's going in circles. Like, this thing couldn't be any more evenly balanced than it is. It just decides it wants to run in circles for some odd reason. I mean, if it was a drifting competition, it'd be another story. But, unfortunately, it's a racetrack, not a drift. Let's try something a little bit weaker. So, as far as functionality goes, that's pretty much exactly what we're going for. It moves, it turns, it steers. It's actually really, really stable. It's actually really, really nice. And so far, like I said, this is very heavily based off of another YouTuber, Gaming Skills Creation. So, I want to give him credit where credit is due. Now comes the fun part and the fart part where I'm going to... The fart? The fart? The part where I'm going to stray a little bit away from uh, what gaming school has done. And that's the aesthetics. We're gonna make this thing look beautiful. We're gonna add that Miola touch to it. You know what I mean? And uh, well, yeah, this is where we generally uh, get a bit carried away. I'm probably gonna fail, let's be honest. So let's get out the parts that we like. We like these blocks. We're probably gonna throw some of these on because I like to add a bunch of these. Uh, I also like these. Uh, apart from that, nothing really tickles my fancy. Yeah. I guess we could have a play with a few different things. Yeah. So, what do we got? Let me have a look around. What do we got? We got so we got these things here. We could sort of break this up. I just broke that part. Let's place that on the ground instead, okay? We could get something like that. That looks kind of cool, but... Hmm. Okay. I think we got something going here. Nope, that's not what I want. I want it vertical. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, that's tough, dude. That's tough. That is just a speed machine right there. You can just tell. You can just tell that it's going to be a speed machine. You know when you just know? Just when you just you just see a vehicle and you're like, you know, that thing is fast. That's what this... That's the impression that this gives off. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, so... I feel like... I might have messed up. Huh. This is actually... Supposed to go that way. Originally it did anyway. No, it didn't. No, it did not. It went like this. And then like that. But should we get down? No, no, no. Let's, let's turn it in instead. Let's turn it in like it originally was. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's freaking sensational. I like that. Perfect. Amazing. Spectacular. Done. And we're going to do the same on this side now. So we're going to go drop that bad boy right there. Throw a little... uh. Little honeycomb piece in there. Throw up a little triangular motion. Yep, loving it, loving it, loving it. Now, 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 now. I guess we kind of got to like bring it over a bit. I kind of wanted to wrap over these wheels. Like we, oh, well, that looks cool. Yeah, dude, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to bring that up one little piece. Love it. I love it. That is starting to look beautiful. Starting to look beautiful. Like myself. We come in with these. Will that give it a little bit of extra, extra pizzazz? Loving it. Loving it. 
the pizzazz is there, it's present. Now, so that's pretty much the body done. I might do something else on the back here, maybe give it like a bit of a spoiler type of action. We'll see how we go back there. But the front, the front is the important part. You know, you, you want a tough front. You want to not be able to be destroyed from the front. Unfortunately, we can't put anything that low. This is where that little half pieces might get a little bit interesting, but uh, we'll work this out. We'll get through this. So we could, hmm, we gotta work out how far forward we want this to come. In fact, we've got to work out how far forward we can let this come because we got a little turning, like, wheel thingy me jiggies here, and we don't want them to go colliding with our little front no scoop. Are we? Is this, is this balanced? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Steering. Oh, look at that. It doesn't collide. What if I add one more piece? I don't know why I would, but if I did, would that have a problem with anything? Let's have a look. No collisions! Oh, yes! But, is that too wide? Is that... Oh, it's a hard decision, bro. That is a hard decision. I don't know. I don't know. That's too tough. Too tough of a call for me. So now we're going to work out how to scoop this thing here up. Let's go and raise the bar a bit. Going to raise this up. Hmm. How much further do we bring this, though? Like that? Or is there anything we can actually do? I gotta, I gotta check these out. We gotta check these out because we haven't. Ugh, yuck! That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Never do that again, please. <laughs> how to destroy a vehicle? Add one of these windshields to it. That's how you do it. I was gonna say I really wish these windscreens we were windshields were hollow. Like if you could place blocks inside of them, it would change everything. You just can't do it though. It's so disappointing. What do you do? So what I was thinking was, can this come any higher? Or does that just look like ridiculous? Probably looks ridiculous. That looks stupid. It's like a pyramid on the front of your vehicle. Who needs a pyramid on the front of their vehicle? But that doesn't look terrible. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Does it look too much of a pyramid though? Ugh, it's a hard call. How about if we go some... No, 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 not like that. What if we go the reverse cone? Yeah, that looks stupid. That looks stupid. I think that's what we got to go with. But these here just ain't going to suit it. It's just not going to work with that there. I don't know. There's something... There's just something not right about this. Maybe we can go that way. That just looks stupid as well, though. Hmm. Struggling. Struggling. Can we go... Is there anything cool we can do with this piece? Pretty please with sugar on top? No, because it's going to collide with that. Ah! I can't tell. Which side looks better? Oh, I think I can dig that. I can think I can dig that. I can deal with this. I can definitely deal with that. That part right there, though, I think that can be one of those little squared ones, just to square it off. Because why the hell not? Aerodynamics. It's freaking scrap mechanic. There's no aerodynamics in this game. <laughs> All right, so I'm quite liking the front scoop right now. I don't know if there's anything else we can really add to it. It's looking pretty, like, pretty well complete. Um, we could so, sort of get something like that if we really wanted to. That doesn't look terrible. That doesn't look half bad. But the question is, yep, it collides with the wheel. Can't do it. Can't do it. We could, nah, it's either all or nothing. You know what I mean? It's all or nothing. Okay, let's move on to the back now. So, in gaming skills version of this, he did something really cool back here with kind of like a, an exhaust pipe popping out the back. Should we try something similar? It went something like this. I think. And we can do something similar on this side. You know what I really wish? I really wish that a pipe could pass through this block. It would, it would just look amazing. It'd be so cool if you could actually do that. So what if we go and pop our pipe a little bit further up the back and like that? A little bit further out? Or is that just a little bit too far? Might be just a bit too far. Like that would do, like that would do. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and close off this whole back section. Like so. Yeah, I can dig that. I can freaking dig that. Does that look silly? Does that look just not right? I wanna get a spoiler going back here. I'm having a bit of play right now. I don't know what I'm going for. I'm just playing around with stuff until I see something. Until my eyes are like, that's what you want, baby. That's what you want. And right now I'm getting nothing. Not getting a thing. All right, so things changed a little bit to say the least. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was playing around with a few things and a few things worked, a few things didn't. One thing I did want to do was this. I wanted to go throw a block there and then that out. I thought that looked really cool, but you face this little issue with the little wheel at the front, it decides to turn and it decides to, uh, yeah, get caught on that little part right there on the side. One way we could solve that is by extending this vehicle by one block. But uh, actually, let me let me actually think about that. We got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it's actually a bit bigger than we originally wanted. We wanted to keep it pretty close to this vehicle over here, the Miola Mobile. It's a little bit longer. I don't think it's as wide. One, two, three, four. I think it's eight wide and about twelve long. This thing craps all over that piece of trash. Get out of here, you piece of garbage. You're not welcome here anymore. So yeah, I think we just need a spoiler now, eh? So uh, let's go and throw these on here, like so. Um, spoilers! Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Spoiler alert! Ned Stark Do How can we do this? How can we do this? Are there any cool blocks that we can actually like get going for this? Or not really, because... I'm lacking a little bit of inspiration on this one here. Um, we took these parts here off before. Can we get anything cool out of these? How how many blocks wide is this? It's only three blocks, and this one's six, isn't it? Why make such an awkward... Why can't we just have a four-piece? Does that work? I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. But we got to do one thing before we uh, make that happen. we got to go and break these off real quick and replace that. So that's all flush and nice. Do we tilt them that way, or do we tilt them the opposite? I think that is the way we go with them. Because that just looks garbage. Let's get rid of that. Trash, trash, absolutely trash. Dude, this looks sick. I reckon we're done with it. I think we're done. I think all this thing needs is a coat of paint. And our drifting machine will be ready for use. This is awesome. I'm really happy with this, actually. Let's get our paint tool out. It's all we need. We actually got it. It's all good. What color do we paint this? I was thinking red, but... Oh, we've already got a red car, don't we? Hmm. Green. Neon freaking green. Oh, oh, let's go nuts with this. Let's see how this looks. I'm thinking neon green and a bit of white. Oh, this is cool. This is gonna, this is gonna be badass, man. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be the greatest thing you have ever seen. I promise. I promise. And if you let down, then your expectations are a little bit too high. Oh, you can paint these. I had no idea. Oh, it shows how long it's been since I've used them in a build. I actually kind of like them just standard though. Not that one. Not that one. You just look stupid. Okay. Like that. Those kind of look cool colored. Uh, there's a few blocks under here I can't reach. Can't reach them. Why not? And that one. And that one. Sneak in there. Oh, fantastic. And that one. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh you didn't get past me, buddy. I'm going to get that little piece there. Where is it? I can see it. I can smell it. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, there it is. Is there one on this side too? Oh, shite. That was a mistake. This is why this amazing piece of a tool right here is so amazing. No, that's not going to work. Oh, you stinking piece of garbage. That's why. That is why. All right, I got to get in there again. Come on, come on. <laughs> Got it! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Let's get this piece of trash off. Yeah! All in one piece again! Dude, this looks sick, bro! This looks sick! What? Is like, there's no such thing as a faster color than neon green. Yeah, man, I can dig this, yo! Look at this thing! I think we're done, yo! I think we're done! Why isn't it steering properly? Oh, no! <laughs> I forgot! Because we went and busted the thing apart... Now it works. Now he's gonna work out like a comfortable speed for it, and I reckon we're about good. I reckon this is a little bit too fast. Hold on, let's just drop this down a tad. We don't want it to like outdo the Miola mobile too much, that piece of trash. This is looking nice though. Look at it, look at it. Can it steer? It can steer properly. It's somewhat fast. It could be a little bit more faster, but guys, I think we have a complete vehicle. Guys, this is the. Uh, so. I had a last minute idea. This is 
the goat cart. Yeah. <laughs> I had like, when I was coming up with a name, the goat cart, goat cart made sense to me. It just struck a chime with me. It was just like, ding, 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 ding. It was just like, mate, the goat cart just makes sense. And a, and a green goat cart. I've never seen a green goat before. I've seen a brown goat before though. So uh, guys, look at this little thing. It looks like a little stylish little vintage mobile. It looks freaking awesome. Guys, let me introduce you to the goat cart. I'm happy with it. Guys, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. That is our second weird and wacky racer mobile. We have our goat cart. We have the Miola mobile. I don't leave because this thing here just outdoes it by like tenfold guys that is all for uh i guess our second part of this little mini series here if you enjoyed it make sure to go ahead and punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups remember to leave your suggestions for our third vehicle down below in the comments guys love you all peace out have a fantastic day and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now